Hi everyone, my name is Max Michagno. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration of the 3D experience release 19X on cloud. And today's topic is about how we can handle minor and major revision on Enovia 2D experience. Okay, so the first thing you should know about uh, minor revision is that it is not allowed uh, when you purchase the, the 3D experience. You need to authorize it in the platform. And the best way for doing, for doing so is to click on the North Quadrant of the 3D experience. And we can just click on this application called Collaborative Spaces Control Center. When I click on that, it will automatically open me a web browser. In that case, it's Google Chrome. And here I need to log on my platform. Okay. So of course, in that case, I'm the admin of my own platform. So I can access this application. And as you can see here, you have different collaborative spaces. And here you have several uh, icons like attribute management if you want to create uh, your own attributes. And the one we want is access rules where I can allow or enable uh, minor revision in my 3D experience. So you need to go down, scroll down to lifecycle operation, and you tick this option here. I will not do it because it's already done. Uh, when creating minor revision, automatically share content with other user. Uh, this will allow you uh, to authorize, uh, to enable minor revision. And when you do it, you might have to wait five minutes before restarting the 3D experience. Okay, so this I don't need to do since I already did it. Okay, let's start by creating a 3D part. I will call it Axel. It's just to show you how we can perform a minor revision. Okay, let's say that in that case, I'm a part designer, of course, and I want to design a basic shaft or a small axle, if you prefer. In that case, I can even say that this one is connected here. Okay, I'm just going to put some constraints here. Okay. And the last one here. Okay, so that's uh, my profile. I'm going to make a shaft using that line. Okay, 360 degrees. I can even reduce just a bit the dimension here. I edit the sketch. Yeah, I forget one here completely. And let's say 15. Okay, it's just for an example anyway. So here is our part and you can see that it's not saved because I have a just a simple Excel title. As you can see, as soon as I click on save here, the title will change to Axel A.1. And the A represent the major revision and the one represent the minor revision. Okay, so now we know that this part is saved in your platform. So to do a minor revision, let's say, for example, that you need to add some chamfer on this axle, or your colleague tells you, oh, it's not working, so we will modify it a bit, okay? Uh, you need to first um, release the part, and you can easily do it. So as you can see, we are still in part design. I can easily do it with save with option where here I can find this nice panel that allows me several uh, things. For example, I click on the part and I can change the maturity of the part to released. That's the one we want. Okay. So as you can see, it's in work. And when I click on OK, it will switch to released. Okay, now it's released. And only now I can do a minor revision. And when I click on this button here, you see a tiny icon appears here saying that it will be a minor revision. So you can notice it's 8.1 and when I click on OK, it will be 8.2. So now we have created a minor revision, but don't worry, we can always access the, the previous uh, minor revision. So let's modify that by creating some chamfer, for example. Yes, it works for me. OK, I'm going to save this part now. 
great. And I'm going to create a, a physical product or an assembly. Um, assembly Axel. And I will show you how we can do a major revision with another part. So I already created uh, another part. I think I'd call it base. Yes, I did. Okay. Open the part. Yes, okay, so this is the part I want. I'm going to bring it to my assembly just by drag and dropping the part. The first thing you can always do in assembly, and that's what I like the most, is you can either click on the fix button here or just click on the engineering connection panel, select your part, and it will automatically say that it's fixed. Okay, and we will bring the other part we have, that is Axel. And when I click on Axel, you will see or you will notice that there is two parts. There is one with 8.2 and one with 8.1. I will just select this one and open it. Just to show you that it's still possible to bring a previous version here. Okay, we agree on that and I'm going to save my assembly. Well, I can also do a connection just to show you that connection will also work here. Okay, so that's what you want, and you want this face and this face connected. Okay, now you have a revolute, that's what you want. Okay, no contact in that. Great, just be careful, you need to update your assembly, and we will save it. As you can see, also the assembly has this later 8.1 that will appear, so save. Okay, now it's saved in the database. I'm going to close this assembly and reopen the base Axel. So let's search it again. Base Axel. Sometimes the you need to refresh a bit the the search to have this uh, 3D icon that appears, but normally it appears uh, soon. Okay, so I open it again and we will do a major revision of these parts. So same principle, except that I will switch to another application. Instead of using save with, I will just switch to collaborative lifecycle. So it's on the North quadrant and collaborative lifecycle. And as you noticed, I click on the 3D part and not the 3D shape. So here you also find all the button you had in the save with option, such as change maturity, etc., with minor revision, major revision, uh, delete, uh, duplicate. Okay, so in that case, you don't need to change the maturity. So I will just show you that we can just, instead of do a minor revision, we do a major revision by clicking on this icon. Okay, I select the base axle. It will find the part here, as you can see, click on OK. And now we have a small a small note uh, some ha that appears saying that it's Axel B.1 and we still have Axel A.1. And let's do a major revision. Uh, I don't know, we can say, okay, this design, it's not working. We need to add some fillet for the welding, for example. Okay, two millimeter. Uh, we can also say, Let's modify a bit the diameter just to show you that it will work. Okay, it's, let's put 20.5 to give a bit of gap. Great, so we have done a major revision. We can also, you know what, change the color. Let's say that the color will be more orange. Okay, great. Uh, we will, of course, save this part. We click on save. I also put a shortcut that is Control S if you want to use, and I will close everything. Huh? So we see Excel A.1 and B.1. I will close everything, and now I can just search my assembly again. And I say we call it assembly Axel if I remember well. Okay, here it is. 
open and of course in that case you can see that it's still the a.1 for both part the base and the axle so an easy way to look we know that this assembly is not up to date since these parts have been modified so you can click on the bi essential in the tube uh, tool uh, tab in the action bar bi essential and here you can reveal some information on your assembly let's take for example major revision status and here you can see okay that the part in red are not up to date and you can also do the same with minor revision and here you can see also that this one uh, is not the latest modified. So let's modify that. You can either do it in collaborative lifecycle management or in uh, assembly design because you, in both applications you have product edition uh, tab here. So the best way to do it is click here on this replace, not by existing because we don't want another part. We just are going to do replace by latest revision. So let's pick up the base first. Okay, he detects that there is several uh, revision on that. And now he put us the latest one, so the B.1. And we can also do the same for, you have overload minor revision if you want to have uh, all of them or just the latest. So we can just select this one also for the axle. And yeah, okay. And now you have a point two. Okay, so that was it. Now you can just, and what I like also is when you update, this has not modified any of the constraint of your assembly. So that's a great thing. And the thing you need to know to do now is just to save your assembly again. Great, so now you have seen how we can handle minor and major revision on Innovia 3D experience. So thank you very much for watching this video. Do not hesitate to visit our website www.plmtechnology.com. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact us. Please like and share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And because we are delivering great content every Monday, so I'm very keen on see, seeing you again next week. Thank you very much. Goodbye.